Um, Keith's mic is on. Turn I hope so. Bit of pale. Mic check. Lewis Turner, here are the three things you. Oh, my mom. Hey. It's snowing in Cincy. Cool. It's snowing in Cincy, Mike. Hello. Start with the traffic cam. Hello. Thank you. Mic check one two, check check one two, mic check one two. Well, things you say. Things like vacuuming, Katie dropping an MF or have to hide under yeah. the couch. Yes. You want to be over on this side, Mike? Yeah. No Usually break. they just take it full, and then when I say, like, here's my maps, so they just go to me in there. Live from the studios of NBC 12 and ABC 25, this is Good Morning Jacksonville at 6. Here are the three things you need to know to start your day. Number one, a security scare at a popular event in downtown Jacksonville. Police say two young people were shot during Art Walk last night. There were hundreds of people there, and officers say the incident could have been much worse. Shelby Danielson going to be live with us in three minutes with how those teams are doing. And your second big story on this Thursday morning. All eyes are on the Jaguars today. Interim head coach Doug Marone is scheduled to interview for the official job. Marone has the backing of a Super Bowl winning coach and former Jaguar Tony Baselli. And about every person that's a Jaguar fan ever. He's got the backs, I'm telling you. Uh, third week story, 1,000 students going back to school. Yeah. It's back to school, had the winter break, wasn't it fun? But now just look at it this way, guys, pretty much everybody heading back. Um, we're sliding downhill the summer break. I mean, spring break, of course, first, which is gonna be huge. And then, uh, then we got the big summer break. But yeah, watch out for the school buses today. Probably a little yeah. extra slowdown in the neighborhoods as well, and the kids out riding their bikes. Be careful. Yeah, please. grab a sweater as well. But this morning, <laughs> as you head out to the school bus stops, it's a little cool out there. Yeah, and the kids can ride their bikes to school. And my, my kids said it's time to go back. So it, it was. <laughs> they were ready. They were ready. It was time. Aww. Too much time with you, Mike. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Katie okay, has so many low blows on camera today. The <laughs> off camera ones are even worse. Trust me. She's awesome, but <laughs> but your mom apparently had a weather report for me this morning. My parents in Cincinnati said it is snowing this morning there. Ah. I mean, and eventually that's well, not the snow part, but the cold is coming our <laughs> way. And we're going to talk more about that this morning. Uh, let's enjoy this nice weather for the back to school forecast. 49 Jacksonville, 59 in St. Augustine. Uh, these temperatures don't get much better. And a lot of times this time of year we're waking up to freezing and frosty weather. Uh, how about just some nice back to school forecast weather with 50 to start 68 in Mott. If there is going to be a change this afternoon, it will be increasing sunshine as an area of low pressure in the Carolinas develops and moves away. So we'll be in the uh, drier side of that system and then a very nice high in the low to mid 70s. Runner index a 10 out of 10. We've got the 5K resolution run. Uh, the Florida Striders holding that this weekend. So great training weather out there uh, before school and work. But look at this. We talked about the snow in Cincinnati. 72 our forecast high in Jacksonville. 26 with more snow on the way in Cincinnati. We're going to see 20s here at home. Even wind chills in the teens. I'll time it all out coming up. Let's get to Katie now in the Vice Star Credit Union Traffic Center. Thank you so much, Mike. All right, good morning, everybody. This is a look at I-95 near Bay Meadows. Looks like 95 is moving up to speed, though, starting to pick up as kids go back to school. A lot of people going back to work, so people trying to get back into their routines. Let's take a look at some of our traffic maps, talk about what's going on out there. Really, the only issue that we've been following that's causing some slowdowns is in the San Mateo area, so Putnam County. It's US 17 and Browns Road. Looks like there's still some closures on the northbound side here of US. 17. So if you are in that area, I think this is near the ice cream station to give you a landmark, but we're not seeing any delays now on the southbound side, but still US 17 kind of the main thoroughfare through that area. So you could see some delays again on the northbound side. I 10 though moving up to speed from Baldwin towards 295 is only about a 10 minute ride and we're not seeing that congestion because that doesn't usually kick in until about 630 645. So the earlier you get out the door, the better your drive is going to be. 
Back to you, Lewis. All right, here's the biggest stories making headlines nationwide right now. Macy's shutting down 68 stores and will be cutting more than 10,000 jobs. This announcement comes after poor sales this holiday season. The closures will happen between now and mid-2017. No Macy's to speak of in Jacksonville, but five locations in Florida are closing. I believe the closest is in Daytona Beach. The Marine Corps will be making history today. For the first time, three female infantry Marines will join the 1st Battalion at Camp Lejeune in Jacksonville, North Carolina. The women will serve in various specialties, including machine gunner as well as mortar Marine. 10 to 15 feet of snow is expected to bury California over the next few days as well. Uh, Sierra Nevada mountains happens, but that's a lot of snow quick. This is what it looks like along a major interstate in the Sierra Nevadas. It's good news for areas plagued by drought, though. This does provide a lot of needed moisture for that area, though, of course, bad news for travelers as that air mass makes its way across the country. Keith. All right, let's get back to our top story here at home. Two minors are expected to be OK after being shot during art walk last night in downtown Jacksonville. Hundreds of people were there and the shooter we know is still on the loose. Shelby Danson is live with the very latest on this investigation. Keith, a good morning. We know that uh, according to some witnesses, one of those victims who was shot actually collapsed behind the Bank of America building here behind me. And then there's a trail of evidence showing that they ran toward the landing. And that's what other people said who were here last night as well. So we're at Laura and Bay right here where they saw those victims running, but it's here further down. I'm not going to cross the street because there's a car coming, but near Hemming Park, a couple blocks down. That's where police say the shooting actually happened, and they say that it actually happened within the barricaded area where people are kept at Art Walk. And you can see last night that heavy police presence. That is not something we normally see during Art Walk. This is an event that happens on the first Wednesday of every month. It attracts hundreds, more than a thousand people, police believe, could have been here last night when it happened just around 930. Now, they aren't giving specifics uh, as to who these victims are, but they say juvenile males and uh, one vic or one witness tells us that she described the victim as a little boy. So we know these were young victims. They are expected to be OK. They're in the hospital right now. But listen to some what other witnesses had to say last night. You can imagine how terrifying it was to hear gunshots at a fun event here. You know, pops, fireworks, gunshots, I'm sure they're all comparable, but there's something that, you know, you hear, you know, screaming, obviously, is inherent with gunshots. So I figured it was gunshots when I heard people running. Yeah, it was definitely like people running around, and then it, I thought it was just firecrackers. Got to 1904, and then the guy that was doing the freestyle, he was just like, hey, there's gunshots going on. And I was just like... Thankfully, no one was killed, but the scary fact remains that a suspect still remains at large. They have no suspect information at this time. If you know anything, of course, call police right away. Reporting live downtown, Shelby Danielson, First Coast News. Well, a new bill has been introduced designed to make Jacksonville's human rights ordinance more inclusive for the LGBTQ community. Similar measure, measures failed in 2012 as well as in the last year. The big difference this time is that this bill is more condensed, still has all the same protections for small businesses and religious institutions, though. Now, if it makes it through committee, that's the first step, a final vote could come as early as Valentine's Day. Another big bill is also picking up steam. Florida senators will hear a bill that would allow guns in classrooms and government meetings. A senator from Naples will introduce the measure to the Judiciary Committee next Tuesday. Campus carry and open carry measures have died in that committee in the past two years. Still ahead on Good Morning Jacksonville, Major League Soccer honoring the fallen. If you haven't seen the pictures of this yet, it's pretty cool. The special thing Orlando City Soccer is doing so the Pulse victims will not soon be forgotten. Plus, Tiger Woods is excited for 2017. How soon you'll see the former champion on the green once again. Mac Daddy Santa. Back to school looking good, but back to winter this weekend. The weekend winter wallop to stay tuned for an inland freeze Sunday morning. Wind chills fall to the teens. Highs only in the 40s. We'll time it all out coming up.
Oh, thanks. Yeah, let's do that. Cash money records taking over for the nine nine in the two thousand. The bad jam, make a nigga spend his cash. His last hand holds power with the pass. The mad jam. Hey, if you live up north, at least you can have a little fun in the snow, right? Wrong. Listen to this. Illegal to throw snowballs in several cities in Wisconsin, Colorado, Utah. Just like, what? But I just had never even thought that they would actually take the time to make an ordinance to make it illegal to hit someone with a snowball. You know what I, you know what I say? About time. Yes, I, I know we're laughing in here about this. What? but. I grew up in New York. I've been hit in the face before with a snowball that actually has ice in it. Yep. People don't know sometimes. You think you're out there playing around with kids. That stuff hurts. Nah, like, make I'm it a felony. Them. Make it a felony. Put oh, them in 25 years. Yes. <laughs> Police on. say you're not going to get in trouble for simply throwing a snowball. I say make it get in trouble. But if you throw a snowball at someone who then calls police, you can get a misdemeanor, a $114 fine. Calling the cops. Mike, oh, I'm telling boy. you something. You hit me with a snowball. And there will be major law. <laughs> there will be the law involved after we've already had a discussion. I'm telling you, All no right. snowballs for me. No I'm snowballs. Just I, I go to Wisconsin to have snowball fights. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure. I've never heard of such a law. Uh, next to they're really going to ban snowmen. Anyway, Keep let's go to the missed. forecast here. <laughs> you even get it in frame. Ethan's going to throw. Okay, now let's take a look at our temperatures here. Back to school. A uh, nice for January, about 5 to 10 degrees above average. Waking up with 49 degrees of 50 on the south side. Mandarin back in school. Go Mustangs and go nature. Look at this beautiful forecast. 70, a brighter sky this afternoon. Soccer practice to go tonight with mid 70s. Weekend weather. Let's get to those changes. We have one more day we'll squeeze out on Friday. Some good weather for the kids getting back to school, but rain after 7 o'clock Friday. Continue Saturday morning, then we dry out and then the bottom drops out. 52 for your high Saturday. Pets and plants Sunday morning. Look at that low of 29, a high of just 46. Why no snow for us? We'll talk about that and the storm track and who could see more than eight inches of snow here in the south. But first, Katie Jeffries in the ViStar Credit Union Traffic Center. Thank you so much, Mike. All right, as you make your way out the door this morning, this is a look at JTB and Gate Parkway. A few early birds hitting the roadways, but not bad. Where it's only about 612. We have another 15 to maybe 30 minutes before we really start to get into that morning rush. Let's take a look at our maps here. So JTB, if you are traveling from A1A towards I-95 is your normal 10 minute ride. So that is great. And no problems along Atlantic and Beach Boulevard at the moment either. Now, if you're traveling through the west side. I've been watching drive times kind of fluctuate along US 17 as you would pass in AS Jacksonville, but that's to be expected from all the traffic headed towards the base over here along Blanding. Not seeing any problems for you guys through the west side, so that is great to be able to report. If you're driving along 95 northbound, maybe into or out of the Brunswick area, no slowdowns there. And in Brunswick itself, no report of problems. So overall traffic is not too bad around the Jacksonville area. Only that one issue that we've been following in the San Mateo area, but other than that, having seen any problems. Back to you. All right, 613 is your time and the future is here. You won't believe 
The exciting new technology at CES this year. Matt Granite, he's there. That is up next. Matt Granite, Las Vegas. That's all you need to know. Oh, if you boy. Want to watch. Plus, a life changing transformation up next. Meet the man, this gentleman who lost nearly 300 pounds. It is unbelievable. Stay right there. Welcome back, everybody. So the Orlando City Soccer Club has found an incredible way to honor those who lost their lives in that Pulse nightclub shooting last year. Really good look. Check it out. So at the new Orlando City Stadium, the team has included a block of 49 seats. It features the color of the rainbow flag to pay tribute to those who died. One of the uh, back to the top seats, it says Orlando United there. See it right there. Oh, that's awesome. Yes. Well, Tiger Woods has committed to three major golfing tournaments in 2017. The former number one player in the world will make his first start of the year at the Farmers Insurance Open at Torrey Pines. He also announced his intention to play at February's Genesis Open and the Honda Classic, which will be in his third tournament of the year. A 14 time major champion sat out for 15 months while recovering from back surgery before returning at the Hero World Challenge in December. That side of your screen. And oh, I mean, wow. Yeah, but the reaction was. Tiger does a great Santa Claus, by the way, too. Here's a moment that has basketball fans talking this morning. NBA star Russell Westbrook tossed the ball to the ref near the basket, but the official wasn't looking, then gets pegged in the head. The replay showed no malicious intent. Plenty of remorse as well on Westbrook's part, but the Thunderstar still called for a technical foul. Next time, Westbrook will probably just bounce the pass or just simply roll it or put it on the ground or just walk away. Russell Westbrook. <laughs> well, it's the most common New Year's resolution, losing weight. And if you need a little inspiration, well, a North Carolina man, his story is sure to inspire you. I couldn't believe the before and after of this. This is Vincent Smith. He's always been a big guy, but when he lost his father to lung cancer, things just got out of control. At his heaviest, he weighed 500 pounds. Mm. That was back in 2005. And check this out right now. Here you go. This is Vincent now. You're about to see him. That's him at 500 pounds. He lost nearly 300 pounds. He now helps others transform their lives. Here he is. Turning point for me was, you know, really, if I wanted a wife, kids, a career, you know, well, how many people at 500 pounds do you see who have that? Looks like a different person. My gosh. Now, the biggest wow. question many people have is, how do you even start? Vincent says you can start simple. 
You start, honestly, I started walking from stop sign to stop sign. More than anything, I'm just happy to be around because honestly, I'm, I'm not supposed to be here. I, so many times I heard from doctors, do you want to live to see 20? Wow, that is inspiring to see. Now, let's see if we can get a photo for you. There he is. This is the before photo, again, weighing more than 500 pounds. There's Vincent there, and you saw the after just now when he was uh, talking with us. Wow, that's impressive. All right, Lou. Just looks like a kid, so much younger in the after pictures as well. Amazing. All right, a lot of futuristic new gadgets have already been unveiled at the CES in Las Vegas. One of them is a wallpaper TV. It's so light and so thin. Check it out relative to that credit card. It can be hung on the wall with magnets as well. We looked online about 8,000 bucks if you want to get one, which, you know, honestly is going to be the most outrageous thing at the CES. Matt Granite is there this morning and has more on how you can save on some other gadgets. I am so excited to be back with you today. I've just finished testing a stack of items to make your home smarter, which we'll get to later this week. But today, I want to focus on an item that'll make your whole car way smarter than it's ever been. One of my favorite deals at CES. Let's put it to the test. Phone one connected. Audio quality unbelievable, works with up to two smartphones simultaneously and hands-free calling, set up in 30 seconds. Hi, you've reached Matt Granite. Please leave me a message and I'll- Go Groove, a pretty big name at the Consumer Electronics Show this year, and they have lowered their prices as part of a promo. Look at the review, 60 bucks down to 35. And my next deal is the Apple AirPod Killer. Headphones that work with both Apple and Android that are also wireless, sweat-proof, Way better in all of our tests. They stay in. They have an ingenious built-in hands-free microphone for under 80 bucks, down from 200 with free shipping. If these sell out, there is a waiting list. The packaging kind of awesome because it's smiling at you, just like I was smiling the second I put these in. If you want to score any of the awesome tech deals I just showed you and a few other surprises, head over to our website. Happy savings. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Matt. And as we look at our weather forecast for our Thursday, terrific. Getting kids back to school, nothing to slow you down. But here tells the weather story. We're almost to Friday already. Pet Friendly Friday getting an early start. And check out Augs. He's saying, yep, yeah, be ready. Bring in the pets. Brace for the winter wallop out there. Here's what's happening. We've got a very strong front on the way as we head through Friday. So we're going to have some rain moving in Friday night, Saturday. But no snow for us. Storm track too far to the north and the deeper moisture staying to the north. If we were going to get snow, we needed the slow pressure to go a little farther south and we'd need a little bit more moisture to work with. But for now, we keep the snow and the bullseye in the Carolinas to Jacksonville, North Carolina. Can you believe that? So that's where they're going to get 6 to 12 inches of snow, not Jacksonville, Florida. If you're in Atlanta, Georgia, Birmingham, they could see things go downhill Friday night into Saturday morning. But I think most of that moisture stays just to the northeast of Atlanta. So maybe just a light coating there, but then the heavy snow from Columbia to Jacksonville. For our weekend forecast, yes, we're talking about a rainy start, but it does look like a drier Saturday afternoon. Highs only near 50, and then wind chills in the teens and 20s for Sunday morning. Look at this high of just 46 degrees. A lot of sunshine around. We'll keep it sunny on Monday to start, then a few afternoon clouds, but check out that low 27, a high near 50, but the cold does not hold back into the 70s by next Wednesday. Now let's get you to work in school safely. We've got the best in the business. Katie <laughs> Jeffries in the Vice Star Credit Union Traffic Center. You're the sweetest. Thank you, Mike. All right, so getting you guys out the door. This is looking at 295 near the Buckman Bridge. Starting to pick up, but all of our bridges so far look pretty nice this morning. Let's go to our maps here. Around the Jacksonville area, it's been pretty nice. We haven't had any major crashes so far this morning, so that is great, at least in Jacksonville. Now, down in San Mateo, we are still seeing some delays kind of on and off along US 17 near Browns Road. Now, a moment ago, looked like things were moving fine, but now we're seeing this red start to appear again, but this time on the southbound side of US 17. So if you're traveling through this area, US 17 and Browns Road, just prepare yourself. You might see a, still see a little bit of a delay if they're still investigating that crash that happened around 5 o'clock this morning. Elsewhere on your roadways, yesterday leaving St. Augustine, it was a nightmare if you were trying to drive on 95 northbound because of a crash. At least this morning, so far, it is smooth sailing from St. Augustine all the way up towards the Jacksonville area. But if that changes, of course, I'll let you you know. Back to you. All right, just ahead on Good Morning Jacksonville on this Thursday morning. Look who's here. Mark your calendars. Patty Jacks, she's live. The top five events for the first weekend of 2017. We're back in two minutes. Your time, 623.
Um, so my friend Renee, she's doing weddings now, like she decorates them. So I'm helping her Saturday, which would take me all day, I'm pretty sure. That's really neat. So is she wedding planning or just decorating? Like she decorates, like there's a planner and then she brings the flowers and all the... All right, welcome in. It's Patty J. You look fabulous. Thank you. It's all good. Okay. Uh, first weekend of the new year, by the way. I know. We're coming up into it, so why not help us out with some big events that are happening? Um, I have a little bit of everything and Do something you? to help you keep your resolutions for the new year. Okay. You know, my, my resolution, I didn't what really make it? one until uh, the other day. <laughs> I did a story where I just walked all around downtown Jacksonville, okay. burning calories every story. So I'm trying to drop a solid 15. Okay. Think we can help me out with this? I think so. Do it I then. Have one. Here we go. Okay. At number five. Okay. I think this is a really, really good one. It's a new thing that they're doing. Mosh. So the Museum of Science and History is partnering up with the St. John's River Taxi. Mm. And on Saturdays, they're hosting a science and history boat tour. I know Mike said it's going to be a little bit chilly, so just bring a sweater. But it's Saturday at 1 p.m. Tickets are just $15. Um, and it's a fun way to learn about our history and then science around the river and nature and that kind of stuff. So I think we love it. Yep, love it. Extra really? layer. You'll be just fine out there. All right, number four. There we go. Number four. This is really good. The Cumber Museum of Arts and Garden. It's free this Saturday. Every first Saturday of their month, they mm -hmm. do their free admission. So it is this Saturday. Go check love it out. It. Fantastic new exhibits out there. Plus the gardens are just spectacular. Nothing says, to me, nothing says Jacksonville like the Cumber Museum. Cumber, so yeah. pretty good. Okay, at number three, go check it out at the Times Union Center. It is Swan Lake. It is the Russian Ballet presenting this, which doesn't get more authentic than that, I think so. Yep. It is this Saturday at 8 p.m. once again at the Times Union Center. Number two. Number two, for all those talented people here on the first goes, America's Got Talent Season 12 has their audition Saturday right here at the TU Center. Mm -hmm. It is an open call, so anybody can go. You know, I think you have to register online, and then you go and do your and um, talent. Yeah, do it. And in the last 10 seconds, what's our number one Ooh, event? Go outside. Be outdoors. Please. I think that everybody should go for a hike at the Jacksonville Arboretum. It is fantastic. It is free. It is beautiful. Go explore Jacksonville. Lose some weight. Lose a little weight and do perform your talent as well, which might be exercise. Go to visit Jacksonville.com, yes, for all more events. We'll, we'll be there. See there you